Hey there, everybody. Finally got to decide to play a Wii U game called Shovel Knight. It's like a mix of DuckTales, mix of Mega Man. It's a pretty much, yeah, wonderful gameplay style. This game that came out years ago back then. It's a fun game. You might have seen me play for like a few more minutes. So basically the story is you playing Shovel Knight who has this love interest to Shion Knight. And you're just playing Shovel Knight the Take on an evil sorceress lady. Let's see. And I will have. I'm trying to remember. Look in there. No, it was gone. The spear broke and he went to a light. Um, uh, two. As our champion, the land was, um, Prince and her other horror. Now the power is unleashing, and glinting, and you're about to begin. Yep, it's about to begin in two minutes. Starting now. Here we go. <clears throat> the game is like treasures and all that stuff just to complete the game hunt for sand. You will have to unlock some certain cool items and all that kind of thing. Getting to like the boss is pretty much fun. You have to get like checkpoints too. You have to like, break those giant lantern things. And kind of get checkpoints. These enemies are pretty simple to jump on with your shovel. Using like a pogo stick style. Freaking bubbles. You see that there? That one comes as your or check sign that if you die you'll have some back. But if you break it you'll get amounts of gold to buy some cool amount of stuff. Like upgrading Shovel Knight's armor. The more upgrade suits you get for Shovel Knight, the more powerful he becomes. And if you see up there as his light bar, if you click all kinds of cool stuff, okay, his light bar will be longer. Look at this dragon, you know, bubble. If you find like most tougher bosses and certain amount of enemies, you'll find some other hidden areas that most likely Shovel Knight cannot reach. So you have to get like sand turn and power up. And like I said, kinda like Mega Man. Like if defeat most of bosses, you'll get their power or energy. And the energy power you collect, like the more you'll continue your journey to take on the Empress, the Lord of Evil that looks like Maleficent. And some sleep and beauty. That's all you do in this game is find hunting collectibles. The more things you collect, the more you'll become super powerful. You have to handle certain amounts of challenges on the way you saw the whole game. Sometimes you have to use some certain powers to have Shovel Knight. And then this journey to complete these missions. 
and other places that we have to reach high up in most other game and the places we might have missed. You can always revisit these places any time you want. So the more treasures you get, the more you get the powerful full amount of stuff you need. Now for upgrades to uh, pick on enemies without a problem. Did I forget to mention the music sounds amazing, like Old classic NES style. I just love how Samurai acts like in the old classic Santa 80s or 90s video game. Classic 8 bit style. That we know and love. This type of game came out a few years back then. And, and you get like DLC from the game that's also released on. Well, it was supposed to be the least sound that we use. But since we live in the year 2020, they like to remake everything on every system for the PS4. Xbox One, even now on the Switch. It's going to make Shovel Knight worth getting. So here we go, the first mini boss fight. Which I'll get to in a minute. So I'll take on the fight enemies as well. So yet yeah, the more enemies I drop more items, the more you'll come stronger and powerful. Oh, I don't drag them, there's bubbles. <clears throat> the Shovel Knight defines a bonus pet. With the old classic video game formula. If you have a bonus pet, you'll lose all your treasure. That's pretty much basically the video game cliche of all time. If you lose that amount of gold, you're back to Square one. But still, this game is pretty darn good. So that's how you not only jump on enemies, but on rock rocks as well. This one makes the game more planned. Just using your sub shovel to dig up treasure. Sometimes the bubbles will appear in most areas. And you'll find hidden treasure chests all around in most areas. Like you might have missed. I think we're getting close. There we go, another checkpoint. And right on time too, boss fight begins. Black Knight. Any power? Um. Any power? Can you see? Yeah. Power. Power. Oh, true. Here we go. Oh, this guy is really easy to take down. And jump on him or him with your shovel. And got like 30 seconds left by the time the video ends. Stop laughing, you loony. Yeah, take this. Have some of this. Yeah. You're going down, Mike. We got almost one hit left. Come on. Come on. Time's running out. It's about to end. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>